Hi, everyone. Welcome to Curated by Becta's meal kit number 63 for the week of July 28th to 31st. Thanks so much for ordering this week. Thanks for letting us be part of a special celebration for you at home. And uh, let's go ahead and get started because we've got a delicious meal for you tonight. Um, some really delicious flavors. Uh, first thing we're going to jump ahead is take our lamb meatballs. Make sure to take the plastic cover off the top and we're going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 12 minutes. And have a sip of your beautiful bubbly. Mm. We have the Gristi um, uh, Pecorino Travesio, which I love. It's just so bright and fun and festive with your appetizer. Um, so let's get on to the appetizer, shall we? We've got a pan and we're gonna preheat it. I believe Chef Rich says, uh, preheat a non-stick pan to medium high heat. Okay. And then we're gonna take the pork belly and three slices per person. Pork belly is one of my all time favorite things. And I gotta say, it's also one of my son's all time favorite things. So when he sees the menu on Instagram, he's pretty excited that we're gonna be doing this. So put it in a nonstick pan, medium high heat, about two minutes per side. So we're gonna need a nice spatula that works with nonstick pans and flip it over after two minutes and then we're good to go with lots of garnishes. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's such a treat. And to have some bubbles with it, what a great way to get started on the meal tonight. Okay, next up, while the lamb is working in there, you know what, I'm gonna jump ahead for dessert for a second while we're, we're waiting on this because the veg doesn't quite go in yet. So we've got this incredible chocolate bomb. And of course I should have gotten uh, the proper spatula. If you have a pastry spatula like this, super great. Creme anglaise is gonna go down on the plates first. Let me just do a little swap a -roo. So we've got these really nice bowls from the restaurant, creme anglaise on the bottom, but a plate will work just fine as long as it's got a little bit of a lip so that the creme anglaise doesn't run around. And then pastry spatula right in there. How gorgeous is that? This is like, you know, a $12, $15 amazing restaurant dessert. There we go. And then we've got um, this sponge toppy, which is gonna go on top. And if you want, you can break it up a little bit and be a bit of an artist in how you sprinkle it around. I think it's probably better to break it up into bite-sized pieces. I hear my pork belly searing. So let me go ahead and put this guy over. So we've done all the hard work of smoking and curing this pork belly for you. And all you have to do is basically warm it up and render the fat. Okay, so I know it's a little out of order, but let me show you the beautiful dessert. Uh, let, me, let me go with this one. So this is our chocolate bomb with the uh, sticky toffee and the creme anglaise. I know we are going to enjoy that tonight. Okay, appetizer comes back. Got our main course ready. And let's get our large pan going on to medium high heat. Make sure I got that right. Um, so you're bringing all ingredients to room temperature except for the gnocchi, and then one pan to medium heat. So let me put that on medium, get the gnocchi out of the fridge. Everything else is nice and room temperature. Gnocchi's coming out now. Because this is a Parisian style gnocchi, it tends to fall apart if it gets too warm, so you wanna make sure not to do that. I am gonna turn the pork belly off. Have another sip of this beautiful Prosecco. Um, and then we're gonna get ready. 
And as long as you didn't get, yeah, that one's covered in chocolate. We're going to go with this guy. So pork belly, one per lettuce leaf. You're going to have some various sizes of the lettuce leaf. Not all of them are exactly the same size, of course, because, well, different, different lettuce heads have different sizes. But this is glorious, and it smells beautiful. Try to get it so that it is linear, that it moves in the same direction as the lettuce leaf. And now it's the fun garnish stuff. But before we garnish, I'm gonna get our pan ready. One tablespoon of canola oil, or in my uh, case, grapeseed oil per person. And now we are going to do a bunch of the garnishing. So we've got our peanut sauce here, and that goes right on the belly. Provides a sort of a sticky background in order to um, get all of the rest of the ingredients on there. Yours might be a little smaller than mine. That's a lot of peanut sauce. So next up, we're going to do the carrots. If you've never had some of these pork belly lettuce wraps, they are a glorious thing. You will enjoy them. So some cilantro next I love when like the greatest amount of work you got to do is just garnish up things we have so many different garnishes this week our radishes for a little bit of spice and freshness a couple on each of those Next up, we've got our scallions. And then finally, our bird's eye chili. And that is optional. If you don't like things super spicy, you can hold off on that. But so I'm gonna do for my family, one with some chili and one without, and they can put it on myself if they want a little extra on the heat side. They're beautiful. Okay, that's gonna go on the side. There we go. You know what, ironically, I thought the other one was gonna be my Instagram shot, but maybe this one is because everything just worked out so nicely. So there is our pork belly uh, lettuce wraps with the scallion, radish, cilantro, uh, peanut sauce, and our bird's eye chili. Oh, I can't not do it for the picture. Well, you saw it. I'll, I'll move things over for the other one. But let me get ready for the main course. You're thinking, oh, look, the pan's really hot. Yes, it is. So I'm pretty sure that the sugar snap peas and the gnocchi go in first. Uh, gnocchi for two minutes and then the sugar snap peas. There we go. Now, Parisian gnocchi, as compared to Italian gnocchi, is a shoe pastry. So there's more flour, less potato. I'll turn that up a little bit. Maybe I turn it down too much. So we want two minutes on medium heat for this guy. Um, and then we move along for, uh, for the rest of the ingredients. So pecorino. And our salsa verde is coming along for uh, the main coarse garnish. Our lamb meatballs will be there in just a second. Make sure you get, you know, all the pretty things. Make sure to have two tablespoons of unsalted butter ready and waiting for you. Um, and let's talk about the red wine tonight. So we have sent the white wine of this before, but I think this is the first time we do the red from this winery. This is Chiu Chiu, uh, spelled C-I-U-C-I-U. -C -I -U. Um, it's from the Marchese region of Italy. And uh, Bacchus is a red wine blend of equal parts Multipucciano with Sangiovese vines, carefully grown on the hillside of La Marchese. It is intense in ethereal aromatics, 
and on the palate exhibits rolls of raspberry, uh, cherry, licorice, and savory notes, and mint on the finish. Thing that Connor did not mention, it is delicious. That is going to be great with our gnocchi and our lamb meatballs, which is a real classic Italian dish. Although we're doing the, <laughs> the Parisian gnocchi for tonight with it. Um, it just translates better to the cooking at home part. Um, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Parisian gnocchi. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. We're going to throw our snap peas in. Give that a stir. Now, let me make sure that I know when we're putting our um, butter in. Add your sugar up, sneeze, and the pearl onions. Oh, yes. And don't forget the pearl onion juice. That also goes in there. Because that acidity is going to be very nice with your dish. And if you don't know how to do this, you can also just mix it around with a spoon. But I did a lot of omelets back in my day at Pete and Marty's in Orleans where I used to do 300 omelets every uh, Sunday brunch. And so I got very good at mixing things around. People think I'm a chef because, you know, why would a non-chef own a restaurant? But um, I'm a restaurateur. I did a few years in the kitchen, but I prefer connecting with people in person. And that's why I love being out on the front. So we've got great chefs like Chef Rich and Chef Megan who are doing meal kits like this. Now let's see what else is next. So three more minutes are going to be for that, and then the butter goes in. Uh, we're going to reduce the heat to low and add the baby spinach so that it just wilts a little bit. And get ready with the salt and pepper. You don't need the salt and pepper, the appetizer at all, by the way. Just a little heads up. Um, you know what? I'm going to use this time. I'm going to move some of the bird's eye chili over to the other dish, which is looking better for the photos. Sometimes you do a great job plating a dish, and sometimes you don't do so well. And today, I really thought that this would be it, but no, not the case. So my son gets a little bit of bird's eye chili tonight, and that's okay. Oh, the gnocchi is getting a really nice little caramelized color going on. Perfect. Um, and... Google is going to tell me when we are ready for uh, the meatballs to come out. And we gonna... Hey Google, off. So let me turn off the oven before I forget. And I think it is time for the butter and the spinach. As soon as the butter melts down, we're gonna throw the spinach in. Meatballs are coming out. They smell amazing. Yeah, this is a very rustic um, Italian or French type dish. Um, and I'm just, I'm a huge fan of this kind of stuff. And I know Chef Rich is too. Okay, now the butter is melted. Spinach is going in. Make sure you get some tongs. Give it a little stir. Oh yes, I was supposed to drop the heat. I'm just gonna turn it off completely. you just want to wilt the spinach. You don't need to cook it a whole lot. You want it still to have a little bit of life left in it. And don't forget your salt and pepper. Especially if you use unsalted butter. Ah, looking gorgeous. Okay, let's do this thing. So the gnocchi, spinach, pickled pearl onions, and um, snap peas are going down in the bottom. Spread them out a little bit so that you can see all the beautiful stuff. So hopefully you guys are taking pictures for Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever you like. So should have, I believe, five meatballs per person. I don't know if you've noticed, but in cooking, everything is an odd number because odd numbers look better. 
I don't know why, but we seem to be attracted to them more. Four and five. Good to the last drop. That little guy goes in there. Fantastic. So let's see. Uh, top of Salsa Verde and then Pecorino. So the Salsa Verde should kind of hit all around. And the Pecorino will kind of stick to the Salsa Verde. That smells amazing. Tons of freshness. Lots of fresh herbs in there. That is a good looking dish. Sort of sprinkle it from above so it doesn't clump along. Perfect. There is our lamb meatball with Parisian gnocchi, uh, pickled pearl onions, and snap peas, spinach, salsa verde, and pecorino romano. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much for ordering. Thanks for being a part of this. For those of you who reached out and said, you wonder if now that restaurants are open, we're gonna keep doing this. We are absolutely going to keep doing this. So please keep ordering, tell your friends about us, and I hope we get to send you some deliciousness at home real soon.